Well, the Hokies led against the number one North Carolina Tar Heels for most of the game, but in the end, it was Tyler Hansborough's last minute heroics that put the Tar Heels over the top and burst the Hokies bubble. Wait, is this 2008 or 2009? Our theme for the last 24 hours has been same story, different ending. Unfortunately, we got the same story and the same ending. Uh, we just couldn't get a defensive rebound when we needed to get one. And I thought we competed at a very high level. I um, thought we took great care of the basketball. Uh, but we just you know, weren't tough enough when we needed to. You know, but, uh, I'm really proud of our guys. I thought we competed really hard and did a lot of very good things and put ourselves in position to win, just weren't able to, uh, to finish. It's a, an ugly game, but uh, I've said many, many times that you've got to win some games ugly to have a, a great year, and that was one of them. You've got to congratulate Virginia Tech because they did some big-time things, but I think uh, our inside play late in the game was big with Tyler and also our rebounding throughout the entire game. Well, I mean, we had we had the opportunity to win. I mean, I, th I thought we were dominating the game. I mean, we were fighting them every possession. We just couldn't come up with that one one stop and like one rebound, like Coach said, for us to kind of gain possession. And I, I think at the end we kind of rushed a couple of shots. I know I took a bad shot at the end that I wish I would have had back and just pulled the ball out. But I mean, we fought. We did everything we could, and we were in the game. And I was hoping that last shot would have went in, and we got overtime to get another chance. Well, for those of us who didn't have a uh clear view what happened on the held ball with five seconds left could you describe how that unfolded I just saw him coming down the lane looked like he kind of stopped and just grabbed the ball plain and simple it's what I saw too just to kind of follow up on that Tyler you with the position it looked like you kind of had to reach over I mean did you think you could get in there and get it clean from kind of where you were positioned on the play evidently <laughs> I, th I thought I was in front of him, but I'm not really sure. And we also we had a foul to waste, and I thought he had walked beforehand, so I'm doing all kinds of crazy stuff up there, but it was, it was a good play. Seth, uh, if you could just talk a little bit about uh, your view of the, uh, the, the last play there uh, with, with the held ball, kind of what you saw. What I, what I saw doesn't count, so it makes no difference. So, I mean, the only people that count are the guys wearing the striped shirts, and so what they saw is what, what happened. Well, the Hokies will have to wait nervously until the selection show on Sunday. Sitting at 18 and 14, though, it may not be looking pretty. The best thing on their resume may be the slew of very close losses. In the Georgia Dome, I'm Ryan Call for Plester.net, the College Network.